Thank you, Mr. Heitecker. Welcome to Daimler at IFA 2016. This movie is evidence that our mobile devices are pretty, pretty. But it's way more than that. Fully self-driving cars will be the greatest upgrade in the history of the car. They will deliver freedom to their passengers, the freedom to use their time on the road to do whatever they want. And for Mercedes, this journey has long begun. The car is steadily developing into a quality time machine. Today, I want to show you how exciting innovations can assist to make the time spent on the road even more efficient and even more enjoyable. We believe the right combination of hardware and software can really create the magic here. The car will increasingly learn to play three different roles, along with being a more and more supportive driver. First, the car will turn into your individual office manager. Second, it will be your fitness coach. And third, you will become your personal assistant. These roles can very soon make your everyday life both easier and better. At the same time, step by step, they bring us closer to the level of freedom that only a fully self-driving car can provide. Just for the record, driving a Mercedes or being driven by a Mercedes, it will be a lot of fun either way. Let's start with what keeps most of us busy for a big portion of the day, work. Anyone who has ever had to commute to work, and that is just about all of us, can identify with the following scenario. You are stuck in traffic, and once you get out of the car, your phone looks like this. Emails, messages, and missed calls are piling up. And there's nothing you can do other than feel your blood pressure rise. Some people try to get around this with do-it-yourself creativity. That's a worthy effort, but it's not efficient, not convenient, and most of all, not legal. This actually is a real photo from the German police. <laughs> there has to be a better solution. We are proud to introduce in-car office. It will be available in the first Mercedes models by the first half of next year. The service, based on Microsoft Exchange, helps to get things done along the way. Inca Office knows about your next phone conferences and dials you in automatically while you're in the car. It is aware of your next appointments and navigates you there seamlessly. You don't even have to think about it. And your car will suggest making a couple of phone calls from an intelligent and dynamic call list while traveling. Let's see. Oh, Sacha Nadella wants to speak with me. I will call him right after that when I'm sitting in the car again. These are three small but efficient steps to use your time in the car well. And instead of falling behind in work while on the road, you can actually get ahead. We have big plans with our in-car office applications. We will roll out these services across all Mercedes models and service providers, and we keep adding more applications. We are, for instance, now real-world testing the full WeChat integration in China. It's no secret that some of the app's 760 million users also use WeChat 
while driving a car. So we want to make it safe, convenient and legal. And we are already thinking beyond that. Once the car does even more of the driving, there is no reason why you shouldn't do video conferences, Skype and FaceTime calls in your car as well. And we are not only extending opportunities, we are also extending resources. Latest example, we have added a new R&D and IT hub in Tel Aviv to our global R&D network so we can provide even more innovative solutions in the future. The more work you get done on the road, the less time you will actually spend in the office. And thus, you win back quality time to share with your loved ones. The next big field that I believe holds almost unlimited possibilities is health. You know how it is. You sit down for breakfast, you sit during your commute, you sit at your desk, sit through conferences, sit on the couch, in a restaurant. People sit all the time. The average German today sits more than seven and a half hours every day. Some doctors say sitting is the new smoking. And they're probably right. The result is, well, excuse my language, literally a pain in the ass. And the pain moves to other parts of the body too. And I agree, long road trips don't make it any better. On the other hand, cars have come a long way in terms of the comfort they provide today. When compared to a saddle, even the world's very first car was a huge improvement. And here comes the next big leap forward. We call it motion seating. Motion seating makes sure you do not stay in one unhealthy position for too long. Think of it as your personal and cooperative fitness coach. Someone like this. In the car, it looks like that. The cushion and backrest slightly move every now and then so your body stays in motion. You will have to experience it to really believe how good it feels for your back on a long journey. Yet, physical pain is just one part of the story. There's a whole variety of factors that can influence your well-being or stress level on the road. Therefore, I'm very happy to welcome a guest now who looks beyond the physical challenges caused by extensive sitting from a professional point of view, the mental health coach of our Mercedes DTM racing team. This team obviously can handle stress. It has won 29 titles since 1988. That makes Mercedes AMG the most successful brand in the history of the DTM series. Please give it up for Harald Pachner. Thank you, Dieter. Hello, everyone. Unfortunately, we don't have something like motion seating in our TDM cars. So our drivers have to be in a really good physical shape to master sitting in a race car with lots of forces affecting the driver's body. Yet physical discomfort is just one part of the story. As a TDM athlete, you have to deal with many high-stress situations during a race, but also during the entire race weekend. For instance, there is the need to perform at a very high level. A lot of pressure and, of course, a lot of noise. Yeah, that's what it sounds like the whole day. You may think our job as TDM coaches is to produce a perfect, stress-free environment for the driver. And we certainly work on that. But you cannot eliminate every stress situation for your athlete. It's much more productive to make the best of it. Our task is to shape the time spent in the car to a healthy level. Instead of trying to avoid stress situation, we try to provide tools to get our athletes out of the situation stronger than they entered it. How do we achieve that? We use a whole package of interventions and action that allow the athletes to feel up to the task. For our TDM team, this package includes target-oriented mindsets and tools to regulate the activation levels. 
we try to provide ideas that allow the driver to really eliminate any distraction. Here you can see an exercise with Lucas Auer to train his sensual perception by limiting some of the inputs. Here Lucas cannot see and hear properly. That's one way how athletes learn to eliminate distractions and listen to the perception of their body. They have to fully focus on their driving and ignore noise, pain, and anything else. You have to be absolutely confident that you're fully capable of managing the situation. This allows you to stay calm and be on the point. And that's the secret. The more you love being in the moment, the better, the more successful your future will be. The more you feel capable of the current task, the higher your output quality and performance will be. And I mean, after all, that's true for any car driver out there. The more you're focused on driving, the better and the safer it will be. The more you're busy catching Pokemon or doing anything else not related to driving, the worse your driving gets. And it's more dangerous for everyone on the road with you. You could call that fulfillment the feeling that you're totally in the right place at the right time, permanently, kind of already arrived. We try to get our TTM drivers to that stage on the racetrack. And if everything really works out perfectly, almost magic moments can happen. Let's watch a video of Lucas Auer in Sanford to show you what we are talking about. Here is an almost impossible overtaking. This was the best thing I've ever done in my life. I love it. This video, in this video, Lucas really was, we call it, in the zone. Not too much stress activated, but at the same time, not too little. The next curve here shows that constitution nicely. That's where humans are the most efficient, just in the right balance. And this also is where racing is the most efficient, the safest, and the most fun. In DDM, we need to deal with many influencing factors to put our athletes in the zone of their ideal performance. The ideal physical as well as mental constitution. And for everybody who is not going after DDM championships but still drives long distances every day, this balance can also help you arrive healthy, safe and relaxed. Maybe the car can support this and act more like a personal health and fitness coach. And finally, take over parts of my job for every driver. But I will think I will leave that part to you, Dieter, and say thank you for listening to my short insight in the daily challenges of our DDM drivers, and please keep your fingers crossed for our team. Thank you. That's the way Europe is celebrating success this summer. Good afternoon and many thanks for joining us this afternoon here today on the first full day of IFA 2016. This year, we're expecting trade visitors from more than 130 countries and counting. IFA has truly become a global meeting place. And because IFA in its outlook is so global and in its reach, today feels like a little bit strange. Because for the first time in our history, both keynotes on our opening day are being delivered by CEOs from companies headquartered in Germany. While this is very unusual, the selection of both companies is not. Both firms are truly global, with a rich technology heritage. Their international brands recognize wherever your business trips take you. This morning, we heard from Carsten Ottenberg, the chief executive of BSH, appliances with brands like Bosch and Siemens Appliances. Just in case you couldn't be here, Carsten Ottenberg outlined his vision for the consumer experience in the connected kitchen. Digital technologies, cognitive agents are transforming our home. 
they will give us a, they will give us a seamless life, a thoughtless and sync, meeting our needs before even we spell out this. And now, this afternoon, we will hear from Dieter Zetsche, the man in charge of Daimler, and the company that's best known for one brand, Mercedes-Benz. Some of you might ask, hmm, a car company here at IFA. And uh, I'm the first to admit IFA Berlin is not a car show. We couldn't be. IFA is the world's largest, most popular consumer electronics show. And that's why we are so pressed for space. We wouldn't be able to accommodate uh, lots of car companies as exhibitors. We have no empty halls. But there's a very good reason why we invited Dieter Zetsche to speak to us today. I don't know whether you have noticed, but these days, people don't just buy cars anymore. Well, okay, of course, they are still in love with their cars. The design, the sound, the roar, or purr of the engine. But what people, what people buy is not a car, it's a mobility experience. And what they are driving is also not a car, it's a computer on wheels. Arguably, it's the most complex computer in consumers' hands. And that's before we even have started to talk about self-driving cars. But make no mistake, consumer electronics companies are not manufacturers for cars yet. And consumer electronics retailers don't sell cars either yet. But just a few weeks ago, I spoke to the CEO of a large electronics retailer, and he told me that his company is already exploring whether one day they might be selling cars. Well, I have my doubts that we will buy a premium car like a Mercedes alongside TVs and fridges. But what happens is this. Cars will more and more become an integral part of our digital technology experience. They will become the largest and possibly the most important user interface of our technology experience. Cars will be, for sure, the most complex IT products. And who better to shape and manage this complexity than the company whose founders invented the car 130 years ago. Once we drive fully autonomous, fully connected cars, our relationship with the car will fundamentally change. Cars will turn into quality time machines. And I can't help myself. If that's the case, we need somebody to show us the way back to the future. So please welcome the CEO of Daimler and head of Mercedes-Benz cars, Dieter Zetsche. Thank you.